Welcome back, everyone. Today we're going to talk about plagiarism. Now, what do we mean by plagiarism? There are two ways to think about it. First, there is text plagiarism, which is basically to make readers think that those words of others or ideas are your own. So this, in itself, is misleading and unethical. And when it comes to publishing, as you know, one of the main rules is that we have to adhere to all publication ethics. So now, when we talk about plagiarism in terms of a text, what are the circumstances that would qualify this to be a form of plagiarism in this case? Now, so basically, when you simply copy the published text from somewhere without actually citing the source, now, but that's the thing. Even if you cite the source. You might actually still be committing plagiarism because the copyright of that chunk of text belongs to either the owner of the published article or the journal. So we have to be very careful about that. And also, the thing is that because sometimes we would actually find it difficult to explain a certain idea that has already been proposed or published. Or widely accepted, so we thought, okay, we will just、um, simply lift up the whole chunk of text and put it into our publication. Now that is not the way to do it, and we should never ever commit such a fundamental mistake. Now, we have talked about how copying someone's text and alluding to the idea that is that of your own or that the idea is new. Now, there is another form of plagiarism. That not many people might think about. So this form of plagiarism is called self-plagiarism. That is when you are copying text that you have published before into this current manuscript. So you might think, wait a minute, if it's a paper of mine from previously, why can't I just use the text? Because you are the person who created the text. Now it's not as simple as that. The reason being, again. Because you may actually be violating copyright issues. Once a piece of written work is published, the copyright may not belong to yourself anymore. And also,、um, you know, you are actually again because your previous work is published. And if you just lift up the whole chunk of text and put it into your own right now, you are making the readers think that you are presenting something new. Which, in actual fact, you have already talked about it and discussed it before. So this is particularly important in terms of a method, all right? Because if you don't actually cite and say that this method was described elsewhere and insert the citation to your previous publication, you would actually mislead the reader to think that you have come out with a new method and that you are describing it. For the first time, so here's a little piece of advice for everyone out there. As hard as it may be, the one way to actually avoid being accused or actually committing plagiarism is to rephrase the text and cite.